In this video, I'm going to show you guys three strategies that you can implement into your portfolio on Palantir to make consistent, safe, and passive income even on a small portfolio. So I'm going to show you guys these strategies. I'm also going to show you my favorite indicators and show you how to find the bottom at any given time, reversals, and show you have a better understanding of where this stock might go at a given time in say a one to two week window so that you can consistently be successful trading options on Palantir. Here. Now, before we get into the video, I have a huge announcement. You guys are going to want to hear this. This Friday, September 6th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific, I am showcasing my free webinar. That's right, my free webinar for one hour this Friday, September 6th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific. I know a lot of you guys missed the last one. We're going to go over puts, fundamentals, technicals, the psychology, the market. I'm going to show you things you never thought possible on how to become a better investor and a better trader. I will have a very huge announcement during this webinar and there's limited spots for the webinar. We only have so many spots available. So if you really want to participate and you take your financial freedom very seriously, you want to commit and you want to grow your financial wealth and your health and your time and location freedom, you can sign up for this webinar. The link is in the information box below. I hope to see you guys there. Look, I was broke, bankrupt five years ago. I achieved financial freedom. Now I can buy the cars I want. Just bought a new Land Rover, Hellcats, Shelbys. I buy dirt bikes for my kids. Just bought a new house, bought my mom a new car. And I can do these things because I achieve financial freedom. I also have time and location freedom. I take my kids to Disney every year, sometimes twice a year. We fly there sometimes. Other times we drive. We have a lot of fun because I have location, time, and financial freedom. And I want that for you guys. My students in the Discord, all of them are profitable. Most of my students are up 10 to 15% their first month and they're up to 30, 35% by their second month. I have students with portfolios that are as small as $5,000 and they made $4,000 their first month. Other students that have over $100,000 and they've profited $20,000 in their first um, month. How much are you up since joining the program? Since joining um, my Discord? I have made, uh, I figured up last night, $7,041, which I have reinvested back in to buy more shares that I want. Uh, so yeah, so uh, the, I never, I mean, I've already paid for the course. <laughs> so it, it's, it's, the knowledge is uh, priceless really. If this sounds like something you want for yourself, I would love to see you at the webinar. And if you're also interested in joining my masterclass, training course, Discord, and have my one-on-one -on -one coaching, I would love to help you. You can sign up at investacory.com right there on the screen, or the link is in the information box below. Let's dive right into this video. So looking at Palantir, we can see that there's a lot of support at 21, a lot of support at 26, and pretty good support at 29 to 30. Like right around 30 is a lot of support. What we're going to do is we're going to see that the 10 day moving average has crossed above the 10 day and they're both above the 100 day. And when we look at history, we see after a nice uptrend with a pullback, usually after the second pullback, it runs again and then it comes back and bounces off of the 100 day. This happens multiple times. So it's safe to say that it's going to run a little bit higher to maybe 33, 34. It's going to pull back and somewhere in the next two to three weeks, we're going to level off around $30 again and then run. So $30 is the support. We can use the Bollinger Bands to dictate this on the daily chart. Again, it shows 26, but as we go forward this week, that's going to increase as the price increases and as time passes. So realistically, the Bollinger Bands on the daily chart are going to give us a 96.7% accuracy going out up to two weeks. So it's really unlikely that we're going to see this stock below 26 or $27. 30 is pretty decent support. We go on the four hour chart. That's good for an intraday, maybe two to three days at a time. This shows $29.91. So $30 is pretty solid and we can make a pretty good return on $30 puts. I have different strategies though. And besides the Bollinger Bands and the 10 day going above the 20 and the 10 and 20 collectively going above the 100, we can also see something else that it bounced off the 100 day recently. And usually when stocks do that, as you can see back here just a little bit, when stocks get real close and bounce off the 100 day, sometimes they go below and sometimes they prepare 
propel or catapult up. It really depends on the news and the momentum. Palantir has a lot of momentum and it's looking like it's come up, come down, and it's consolidating a bit and it can come down and fall a little bit more. But I would not be hesitant to sell $30 puts as this is a good stock. If you get assigned at 30, you're going to sell 27 puts. You get assigned at 27, you're going to sell 25. Eventually, it's going to stop. You're going to collect all this premium dollar cost average at the exact same time. And then when the stock starts moving again, all that profit is yours. And then you exit and you get back into selling puts again. It is a very strong strategy, but there's multiple strategies, not just selling puts. And I'm going to show you some of these awesome strategies, which by the way, in my coaching and discord, we go over so much more than just the strategies you're going to see in this video. And this is just literally scratching the surface. So if you like what you see in this video and you want to learn a lot more of this and more in-depth coaching, then you can sign up for my one-on-one -on -one coaching discord and training course at any time at investcore.com right there on the screen, link in the information box below. But you can also come see what I'm all about on the free webinar, Friday, September 6th, 7 p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. Pacific. The link is also in the information box below. So we're going to look at this chart and I can tell you that the stock was overbought a little bit, then it came down in the RSI and it's oversold. So this is a stochastics indicator and my settings are seven and I have some unique settings for it so that it works with the Bollinger Bands correctly. And we can see that it's worked its way up and stabilized right in the middle. It's neither overbought or oversold. So it's pretty solid consolidating because it's bounced off the 100 day and the 10 day is getting ready to cross over the 20 day yet again. It looks like we got some more momentum kicking in for Palantir. So this shows me that we could sell $30 puts. That's our first strategy. Let me show you how to do this. We click on sell, click on put. We're only going out three days because of Labor Day. There was only four days here that we could sell this put Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So four days instead of five. So if we were to sell a $30 put, we would get a lot more than 27 on a normal week. We would get somewhere in the vicinity of 35 to 40. But let's just say this put is 40. We're going to change it to 40. It might be a little bit less, but we'll just say 40. This is exactly where you'd be roughly, especially if the stock came down just a little bit on the morning during the opening belt. We're going to sell seven of these. So you only need about a $20,000 portfolio. This is going to generate you like $250 to $300 a week, roughly. So you think about that, you're going to be making about $1,000 a week on a $20,000 investment, or you're going to be putting that up as collateral leverage to buy the stock if you get put the shares. This is a 5% return. And I've sometimes seen six or seven. It depends on how aggressive you go. You could go a week out on a $30.50 put, and this will get you closer to $50 every week, which will end up being $350 a week, which is $1,400 a month, which is closer to six and a half. 7% return every month. This is not a huge, huge, massive return, but this is a safe 5% every month. Because if you get assigned the shares at 30, you'll sell a 29. You get assigned the shares, you'll sell a 28. And your dollar cost average over the course of 700 shares is going to end up being 27, 28, whatever it may be. And all of the premium you collected on top, let's say even the stock was to go down and you got put at 30, then you sell a 29 and get put at 29. Then you get put at 28, then at 27. And all 700 shares are a dollar less, you'd end up at $23 and your average cost would be around 26 or 27. Minus all the premium, you'd be like right around 25 bucks. You'd only be out $200 across 700 shares because you'll have dollar cost averaged. And to show you what I'm talking about, I'll give you the exact metrics on this. So you buy 100 shares, you get assigned at 30. Then you buy 100 shares, you get assigned at 29. 100 shares at 28. 100 shares at 27. Let's say you get 100 shares at 26 and it's a big move palantir is not going to make this move and you got two more so let's do 100 shares at 25 and then 100 shares at 24 oops 100 there we go. Calculate average cost of 27. So you're only out roughly $3 a share because of the dollar cost averaging. Now you've collected premium along the way. So we'll bust out our calculator. Let's say you sold this 250 for three weeks times three, 750. So if you were to get assigned at $30 on your seven contracts with Palins here and the stock was to drop to $29, you would then sell a covered call going a week out at $31, which is a dollar above your entry, $2 above the price that it would be, and which would be $2 above the price of $29 that Palantir hypothetically fell down to. So if we're going to go $2 away from where the hypothetical price is, you know, like I said, it fell from 30 to 29, then we'd have to go $2 out from the current 
internet price to get an idea of what we would generate. So that would be $33.50. If I was to sell a $33.50 call, I'd get about $18 right now. But if there was five days this week instead of four, then it would be closer to 25 or 26. So we're gonna put $26 in here at seven contracts and maybe a little bit more, honestly, but we'll just be safe and say 26. This will generate you $140 a week. Well, if the price dropped a dollar, then you're out $1 per share times 700 shares. So you are out $700 at this point. However, let's bust out the calculator. You are out $700. That's correct. $3,000 for 100 shares minus $2,900 is 100 bucks times seven contracts. You're out $700. Let's just say you sold puts two weeks in a row, then got assigned. Minus 250, minus 250. So you're really only out $200. Now you're going to sell covered calls for two weeks and you're going to get 140 times two. So now you're in the positive $80. Then you get assigned. So now you're up 80 bucks and then you get assigned, which is 700 times a dollar. You make $700. So in the matter of one month, you made close to $800. And that's if things go bad. And not only that, you could have sold a $32 covered call, which would have given you another $700 and you would have taken a little bit less on the premium. So you'd have made about 13 or 1400 in that one month. Selling puts is pretty consistent and very safe. And not only that, you can sell calls to exit and wait for the stock price to recover. And by the time you get to the end of the year and you calculate your profits for the whole year, you're going to average four to 5% per month. It's similar to the wheel strategy, but we're concentrating on selling puts to try to not get assigned, which is why I picked $30 or $29, because it's a lot harder to get assigned at that price, considering that Palantir is above $31 and it's moving in an upward direction and it's not overbought or oversold, and it's likely to make it in the S&P index next month with rate cuts coming. So that leaves us with another strategy. Let me show you another powerful strategy that you can run on Palantir to make juicy premiums. And let's say you don't have $20,000. Let's say you only have $10,000 or even $5,000. Let me show you how you can generate ridiculous premiums on a smaller account. So if we believe the same thing, that balance here is bullish and not likely to fall below $30, what we will do with a smaller account is click on sell, click on put. We will come down to the $30 put, click on sell. Then we will click on buy and we will come down to $27 and we'll buy this put. We will get $25 for a contract, but instead of having to put up $3,000 collateral, we only have to put up $300 collateral. This is pretty good because essentially this is like a seven percent return. It is a $300 collateral making $25. 30 would be 10%. So this is just under a 10% return per week. This is a 40% return per month. So now let's see what $5,000 would get us. $5,000 would allow us to run 20 of these contracts, giving us a profit of $500 per week. This right here is incredible. This is $2,000 a month profit on a $5,000 account. This, like I said, incredible. This is like a 40% return every month. This is like 500% return per year. So as long as Palantir stays above 30, you keep the premium and this credit spread expires worthless and your five grand is released and you keep the $500 and then you do the same thing. Next week, if Palantir fell $30.10, you would then do the same thing at $28 or $28.50. If the stock goes up to 34, you would do the same thing at 31 or 32. Using the Bollinger Bands, exponential moving averages, the 10, 20, and the 100 day, as well as the candlestick patterns and the RSI. This way you have an idea if it's being oversold, overbought, and you can understand the direction of Palantir. But I have one one more strategy, it's a little more risky. The yield, the profit potential is incredibly high. It is astronomically high and it's a lot more than 40%. Let me show you how to run this strategy on your portfolio right now. But first, like I said, guys, if you enjoy these strategies, if they're hard to understand, you want to implement them better, you're new at trading or maybe you've been trading a while, but you just don't understand it, free masterclass webinar. This Friday, September 6th, limited spots available, huge announcement, 7 p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. Pacific. Do not miss this webinar. I'm going to teach you things you never thought possible and that nobody else on YouTube is teaching. Very limited spots available on this webinar. The last one filled up and there were so many people that were upset that couldn't make it. If you want to learn, open your mind and grow your portfolio and you take your financial freedom seriously, you do not want to miss this. If you're interested in signing up 
for my masterclass, coaching, boot camps, training course, and joining my Discord. You can do so at any time. Investacory.com, right there on the screen, or the link is in the information box below. This strategy is incredible. Let me show you how we're going to run this strategy. If we think Palantir is going to go to, say, $32 this week, and it's going to end up around $32 or $32.50, we are going to buy a $33, and we're going to buy a $31. We are then going to sell a $32. We're going to go in here under Custom, and we're going to click on where the sell is, and we're going to need two of these to match the two buy contracts. And then you're going to see we have a pretty massive triangle here. This is going to cost $27 to open one contract, but if the stock price goes to $32 at expiration this week, we'll make $73. This, my friends, is a 73% profit margin. We're risking $27 to make $73. Well, this is a 300% return. And all Palantir has to do is stay where it's at right now and go up just a little bit. And we make a lot of money. As long as Palantir goes up a little bit to say $31.75, $31.80, I would close it early and take $50, which is a 2x, a 200% return. But you don't have to buy the 33. You could buy the 32.50 and you could buy the 31.50, giving us a smaller spread. $6 into 44, which means if we were to run two of these, $12 into 100. This is an incredible return. This is a 7x return, 700% return per week. So let's say you decided to run 20 of these contracts. You're risking 120 to make 880. You're turning 100 into 1,000, basically. Do this four weeks in a row, and you've turned $100 into 4,000. So you can imagine if you utilized even a $1,000 account, this is $1,000 into 7,000. You could turn $1,000 into 28 grand in a month. Now, you're not going to make every trade, but you really only have to win this one time and then you could lose the remaining three weeks. You lose three grand, but make seven. You'd still be up $4,000 with a 25% win rate. That's how powerful this strategy is. And on a stock like Palantir, which is highly likely to be closer to $32 at the end of this week, this is likely to print. Although the stock could go down and you could run this strategy in the same way. In a bearish scenario, let me show you how you would do that on Palantir. You would pick a spot that you'd want to sell. Let's say we think Palantir is going to end up at 31 or 3050. We sell the 3050, buy the 31, buy the 30, click on custom, make sure we've got two cells. All the stock has to do is fall below $31. And as we get closer to 3050, we again turn $4 into 46. This turns eight into $92. So again, this is like an 11x return. This is crazy. All you have to do is have a general idea where the stock's going to go, use technical analysis, and then you set up your strategy just like this, whether it's bearish or bullish. You can sell the butterfly as a bullish scenario or bearish like I just showed you both of those. You can actually sell cash secured puts, sell covered calls to exit the stock, which is the wheel strategy, but you can also do one more strategy, which is another credit spread. Let's say you've only got five thousand dollars but you're bearish on palantir well you can't sell covered calls because you only have five thousand dollars and you don't own any shares well, this is true, but let me show you a way around that. You'll click on sell, click on call. You pick a strike price you don't think Palantir is going to reach. Let's say $32.50. And then you're going to go ahead and buy $35.50, which is a $300 spread. You keep $40 if the stock stays below $32.50. And you only have to put up $260 with the capital. So if we were to do 20 of these this is $5,000, we would generate $3,200 a month. This is 6.5%, almost 7% return per month. Sell puts, put credit spread is bullish. Sell covered calls and sell call credit spread is bearish. And the butterfly can do both also. I hope you guys enjoyed these strategies. Don't forget the webinar free, limited spots available, absolutely free webinar. I promise you're going to learn things you never thought possible in the market this Friday, September 6th, 7 p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. Pacific. And if you guys want to sign up for my masterclass, boot camp, coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, training course, and Discord, you guys can sign up at any time. Investcory.com right there on the screen or in the information box below. I'm driven every single day to help you fam and I look forward to seeing you in the discord and on the webinar we'll see you soon I picked another video for you guys it's right there click it I'm in two places at once I'll see you guys over there and remember until the next video let's grow our wealth together take care guys